Mr. Speaker, it's kind of interesting to me here, all the chatter about government shutdown here seems to be coming from the other side. I think they may be protesting too loudly because Republicans have acted to give the Senate and the President the tools, the means, to avoid a government shutdown. We've acted on two occasions to pass the language of the Full Faith and Credit Act to ensure the government continues paying its bills in the event of an impasse in budget negotiations. However, the Senate has failed to act on a common sense proposal, which would preserve our nation's credit rating, continue paying the military, protect Social Security, and other essential services. Where is the Senate's actions on this measure? What's the President doing to help? He's instead more willing to meet with foreign leaders and unwilling to talk to us in the House here. Mr. Speaker, is this what the American people asked for, that we have an impasse amongst the three legs of the legislative process in this country, that we can't even talk to each other, we'd rather talk to foreign leaders first on the important key issues like what we have coming up, continuing resolution, sequester, debt limit, and the impending Obamacare takeover of our health system. I yield back. Gentleman's time has expired for what purpose?